We see it all around us more and more every day. People with power punching down. But the Avengers weren't like that. I believed it in my core. I keep thinking. This has to have happened for a reason. Maybe this is what I've been waiting for. Maybe I'm finally part of something. Bigger. I can see the bird, Jabu, look! It's about time. Oh. These seats don't recline. It's so beautiful. Huh. Why call it the Golden Gate Bridge if it's not golden? There are so many other kids. I bet their stories are all amazing. Competition is what makes us strong. Mm. What if... They don't like my story. What if it doesn't fit in? It's got to be perfect, you know? <laughs> when you were born, your brother said you had googly eyes. What? But I thought your eyes were the most beautiful things I had ever seen. We are all unique, Kamala. You should be proud of who you are. I love you, Abu. I love you more. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna win this thing. Oh, could you imagine? Uh, I'm the winner. For best fan fiction ever is... Avengers versus the evil sewer lizards by Kamala Khan! And the crowd goes wild. <sighs> That's the spirit. <laughs> hmm. Promise me something. Win or lose. Oh, I'll always be good, Abu. No, Beta. Good isn't a thing you are. It's a thing you do. That's my girl. Folks, we're approaching the Avengers West Coast headquarters on the left, and we'll be touching down on the Chimera Sea. Hurry, Abu, let's go! All right, all right, hold your horses. This is amazing! Fan fiction contest, here I come! there, finalist. Can I get your name? Kamala Khan. And this is my dad. Yus. The Khans. Great. Make sure to check out our comic scavenger hunt. Collect all five and get access to the VIP balcony. Once you've collected them all, just scan your phone at the elevator and you're golden. Have fun. <laughs> Don't you have enough comic books? But the VIP balcony. I, I have to. says you have to scan the barcode to get your VIP pass. One comic at each group. Fight target practice. Look 
Looks like I need to play if I want one of those comic books. Targets, but not the green. 150 points to win. No problem. Are you okay? No. I already got this comic. I need the Captain America one to finish the set. Wait. If you get doubles, want to trade? <laughs> sure. Cool. See you later. No. This one's all out. Oh my gosh! Repulsor gloves! Oh, man. Oh. oh, this is so cool. Ah, what atrocity is this? Ah, apologies. <laughs> You're very small and hard to see. There is no need to cower before a son of Odin, though I understand the impulse. What is your name? Oh, Kamala Khan. Uh -huh. And what is that thing you are holding? Oh, it's a high-density muon beam. A Model 3 Repulsor Club. It's Tony Stark's first love. <laughs> Odin's beard. About as intimidating as the man himself, hmm? <laughs> oh, you're funny. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Behold, a true weapon that needs no improvement. Oh, wow. Whosoever holds this hammer, if he, she, be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. <laughs> Indeed. The difference between Stark's trinkets and the god's might. Yes, but every hero has to start somewhere, right? <coughs> yes, <laughs> yes, of course. You are very wise for one so young. Thanks. <laughs> so are you. <laughs> <laughs> Kamala Khan. Hmm. I will remember your name. <laughs> I can't believe I just met the God of Thunder. Mind? Blown. Uh, comic books. Prize. Focus. Looks like I need to give it a try if I want that next comic book. Another comic down. Cool. More comments. 
That's the scientist from the TV. Terrigen was meant for the people, not some toy for billionaires. It still can be. Stay focused on what matters. Our work is going to change the world, George. I know you don't like the pageantry, but it will be worth it. He'll want control, profit. We won't let him. This is your moment. With Stark's funding and your mind, you'll be a hero to all those people. Can't you see? We are so close. Here you are. Bruce. <laughs> you disappeared this morning. There's always work to be done. I know, always. What is it? Nothing. Uh, some little thing. Just getting some strange readings off the, uh, the reactor. George, maybe you were right. Maybe we were too hasty to put this on public display. Do you think we could run over the numbers just one more time? Oh, uh, yeah, yes, certainly. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Hey, what are you doing back here? Uh-oh. I'm, um, I'm lost. Sure. Let's get you back to the main event, okay? Almost done. VIP balcony, here I come. Shield cap used in World War II to smash Hitler in the face. This is so cool. You're in the way. I'm, I'm sorry. This contest should only be for the real fans. <laughs> hey, what makes you think I'm not a real fan? I deserve to be here too. You really think that the Avengers read your little story? Get out of here. yourself like a tree beside the river of truth and you say no you move what never said that a real fan would yeah whatever get out of here You know, for what it's worth, I thought that was pretty brave. Uh, thanks. I'm guessing you're a Captain Marvel fan. She's <laughs> off planet, but she would have liked to meet you. I'm sorry, you're Captain America. I'm Kamala. Kamala Khan. Khan. Your story had the evil sewer... The sewer lizards, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thor really got a kick out of that one. Said they actually had a sewer lizard problem on Asgard once. You read my story. Everyone submitted. <laughs> that is so cool. Hey, Cap, we should head to the stage. Tarleton is losing his nerve. Have you seen Thor? He should be here by now. Uh, I saw him. I, I saw him, yeah. Uh, he was over at the Stark booth, but he's probably not there anymore because I saw him leave. <laughs> Who's the kid? Nat, allow me to introduce one of our esteemed contestants. This is Kamala Khan, expert on all things evil sewer lizard. Oh, all right. Hey, that thing you had me do with the storm drain cover? Pretty badass. <laughs> I mean, it's nothing compared to what happened between you and Madame Hydra. That was wild. <laughs> uh, we should head to the stage. Right. Nice meeting you, Kamala. See you around, kid. I'll see you around. <laughs> Who's Captain America? The Aunt Black Widow. I'm dying. <laughs> huh. Already have this one. Hold on. Maybe I could trade this one with that other kid. I got the 
comic you wanted. Awesome. Trade you. Pleasure doing business with you. That's it. I got them all. Now to get up to that VIP balcony. Remember to collect five event exclusive comics to gain access to our VIP balcony for the main event. Director Fury! Director, aren't you concerned that your helicarrier's reactor might be incapable of containing this Terrigen? We know Trust nothing me. of... We wouldn't be moving forward if this wasn't completely safe. The Chimera delivers the safety and protection of the Avengers and S.H.I.E.L.D. combined. Thank you. <gasps> Bruno's never gonna believe this. Oh, hey kid, but be careful. Oh. This is the elevator to your fancy balcony. It needs your fo Open sesame, comic book overlords! Those heroes look a lot more impressive than we actually are. We're also unveiling a new clean energy source called Terra. I'm told it's quite powerful stuff. And to explain how it works, the man who discovered it all, Dr. George Hall. Uh, thank you, Cap <laughs> Captain Rogers. The Chimera is powered by a new mineral, Terrigen. Now, three years ago, I found a strange rock, yes, in the San Francisco Bay. Upon further tests, it was clear this mineral would be... I... I... Hello, San Francisco! The city of fine people, good food, and no parking. I am working on the no parking thing. Nice bag. <laughs> We should get out of here. Come. Sounds pretty big for an accident. There are no accidents. Thor, Tony, check it out. At once. Try to keep up. Grab the Quinjet net. Just in case. On it.
Thanks for the assist. We got civilians trapped behind those barricades. Understood. Stay behind me. I will deal with them. We got you, Thor. This should be fun. dealing with here they did not introduce themselves hang on those guns are shield issue i'll get commander hill on the line cap they picked today for a reason agreed i'm staying with the chimera until we figure out what's going on is on the way. Target, kill the guy. <laughs> Shot at me. Avengers, the 
convoy is carrying classified shield prototypes. Fury is tracking down the full manifest. Hell! How's the cat? Well, tell Fury I really love being shot at with my own weapons. We'll keep you updated and do some... Classified shield prototypes. Fury is tracking down the full manifest. Hell! How's the cat? Well, oh, tell Fury I really love being shot at with my own weapons. We'll keep you updated. The goose is fine. Ha! I didn't know you were listening to that part.
It's just peachy. I'm just hoping these guys don't have... They take it back. They've got Pulsar tank. Cap, that ship's not ready for flight. Why is it moving? Someone's initiated the security protocols. The Chimera's autopilot has taken over. You'll need backup. We're heading back. Negative. Secure the bridge. Those weapons can't get into the city. Copy that. You're up, Bruce. Yeah. are dangerous, Stark. Hey, those weapons were meant for the good guys. Is that supposed to be a joke? Not the time. Get your heads in the game. Cap, what's going on over there? Not sure, Nat. Seems like the reactor's malfunctioning. I'm getting strange readings on the monitors. Like we're being pulled to a heat signal in the bay. Down! <laughs> Repeat that, Cap. I'm having trouble hearing. Nat, do you read? Doc, 
eject the Chimera. Not bad. I've never seen readings like these. I'll get to you as soon as I can. Move the flank. The reactor won't stabilize! The Terrigen's molecular structure is breaking down it into a gas! Something below is feeding energy into the reactor! It's, it's extraordinary! Doc, I'll get back to you! the convoy is transporting a highly lethal sonic disruptor bomb. Our enemies intend to detonate it within the city. We're going down. I repeat, a sonic disruptor bomb. Secure the asset at once. <laughs> sonic bomb? Are you kidding me? thought the UN outlawed those years ago. Let's have a look, shall we? <laughs>
You know, I was hoping to face you. Funny, I'm never giving you a second thought. Come and get it! Always one step behind. You're the Chimera, aren't you? What are you gonna do with it? You sell it to the highest bidder? I'm after something much more about. What's that? I won't spoil the surprise. Still trying to piece it together? You giving up? Not a chance! <laughs> so, where has your investigation left you? That you're not the brains behind this. And this smells like distraction. I'm done talking! Coward! What's the matter? Don't like surprises? <laughs> Next time, take better notes. You saw that coming, huh? You think you've won? What the hell are you talking about? Look around, Romanov. The world will remember this day. The day their heroes failed them. <laughs> <laughs> Five years ago, the Avengers paraded dangerous, untested technology causing damage on an unprecedented scale. Our beloved Captain America was killed during the attempted theft of this technology. Thousands of other innocent people died, and many more still bear the scars of what has come to be known as A-Day. Hundreds fell sick, encased in strange cocoons, only to emerge with dangerous, otherworldly powers. With no known cure, the disease has spread across the country, and while both S.H.I.E.L.D. and the Avengers promised to rectify the situation, it was Dr. Banner's testimony that brought about the end of an era. You so-called heroes transformed San Francisco into an infectious 
gas-filled quarantine zone. You unleash diseased, powerful beings that wreak havoc throughout our nation. Many still lay dormant, unidentified. So I ask you again, Dr. Banner, do the Avengers pose a danger to society? Yes. Their activities outlawed, the once mighty heroes disbanded. But out of tragedy is born hope. After the government liquidation of Stark Industries, Dr. George Tarleton, himself a victim of A-Day and founder of Advanced Idea Mechanics, thinks science is the solution to our nation's problems. I wish I knew what happened to Captain Rogers that day, but I was nowhere near the reactor room. I don't have those answers, but I can promise you this. I will use this second chance to make you safe. AIM will find a cure for the inhuman disease. Comforting words to those families torn apart by the disease. But is he too confident? Many criticize AIM's tactics. This so-called resistance army grows stronger every day. This is Phil Sheldon reporting live at the A-Day anniversary. I can't see the revolution right under their noses. Come on. Where'd you guys go? There's gotta be a clue here somewhere. Hello there. If you get it right, copy everything. I'll find you. Now we're talking. Whoa, Retro Stark. Do you have a moment to talk, Beta? Uh, yeah, uh, sure. <laughs> the girls are leaving for the mosque retreat in a couple of hours. It's still not too late to meet them at the bus. It's tonight? Kamala, we talked about this. Going to the retreat will be a good time to get away from all of this. Breathe some fresh air, laugh. Nakia will be very disappointed if you don't go. You're right. I'll think about it. Good. Very good. There'll be ice cream, eh? <laughs> oh, and best of all, no boys, so lots of fun. <laughs> I love you, Beta. I love you more. But you don't get it. Okay. Where were we? Password hint. First love. Hmm. Oh. What? Oh. Come on, come on, you got this. Oh, right. Oh my god, I'm in! I'm in! I can't believe it! Oh, right. Uh, copy everything. Bless your inflated ego, Tony Stark. <laughs> Check this out at headquarters. Huh. Guess I really kicked the hornet's nest. Got 
to get to headquarters and check out what's on this flash drive. Gotta get to headquarters and check out what's on this flash drive. <laughs> 